Welcome to Grip Create Family Sami here. Together we win and together we will assist each other to win of course. Today I'm going to assist you with a very easy strategy that is going to help you at different points of time once you start using it. Always remember that you have to use different strategies at different parts of the day and that is how you can have very consistent returns. You can always reach me out on my contact details mentioned in the video for having the updated information regarding different strategies needed to be used at different points of time. I keep on backtesting historical data and then I summarize the exact combination of indicators actually. If you try to use one strategy all the times that not, might not be that much assistance for you. Um, because you cannot rely on one strategy all the times you have to use different stuff at different parts of the day so without wasting any time let's switch towards the implementation of the strategy which is very easy understandable and interesting once you understand and get the complete details of what i am trying to convey you so all you need to do is you need to select the chart type as candles for this particular strategy as and whenever you have selected the chart type as candles and one more thing that you need to keep in your mind is that irrespective of any broker that you are using you can apply this strategy and make it a really beneficial for you the candle time we need is one minute okay so each candle in front of you is showing you a fluctuation movement of total one minute each buy and the sell candle red and the green candles are showing you the fluctuation of total one minute only so now once you have selected the candle time as one minute all you need to do is you need to apply the indicators that i'm going to tell you for this particular strategy we will be requiring one cci which stands for commodity channel index and it is a very useful indicator and we need three moving averages so there we go once we have selected three moving averages and one cci commodity channel index all we need to do is we need to customize the points of all of these indicators as per our requirement now the first moving average is needed to be selected at type EMA its exponential moving average you need to select the point as it styles of your choice so there you save it now the second moving average is needed to be at type EMA exponential moving average and the point should be 14 1 4 styles of your choice and there you save it the third moving average needs to be at point 23 whereas the type should be EMA exponential moving average and the styles of your choice so there you save it commodity channel index is at point 20 select the styles of your choice okay so i'll be changing the background color so that you can clearly watch it as well and there i save it now so always remember that as and whenever you see the three moving averages intersecting each other very near or at one point to each other okay let me tell you again that if you see two out of three or all three moving averages intersecting each other or intersecting very near to each other above the candles as you can see this happening here 
and as and whenever you see this happening you can simply opt for a sell trade a lower trade a put option always remember that this has to happen above the candles or below the candles so once you see this happening above the candles at this point you need to remember that this is a sell trade and the strong confirmation is possible if the cci was touching the lower or the upper limit at this point of time but cci is very near to the lower limit in fact not touching the lower limit still it's a good signal but not that strong signal always keep that condition in mind which i told you initially that you have to use different strategies at different parts of the day do not rely on one strategy and you can always reach me out on my contact details for having the updated information regarding them let me show you some latest live example so that you can be pretty clear how is this going to work for you now you see all the three moving averages intersecting each other very near to each other below the candles and the cci is touching the upper limit at this point or even very near to the upper limit so it is a very strong signal where you can opt for a buy trade why because a buy trade is taken up whenever this intersection happens below the candles so if you have a confirmation that the intersection has happened below the candles you can simply opt for a buy trade a higher trade a call option similarly whenever you see this happening that the moving averages have intersected each other above the candles as you can see at this point which is pretty clear that they have intersected above the candles you need to opt for a sell trade a lower trade a put option always remember that the intersection should either be above or below the candles not among or on the candles if this intersection was somewhere on the candle that won't have been a signal and it should have been ignored by you so at this point where the moving averages are intersecting each other you can also see that the cci the commodity channel index is touching the lower limit so this is a very appropriate signal and you can opt for a sell trade why a sell trade because this intersection has happened above the candles so this is pretty clear in front of you and you can clearly watch whatever has happened now after the completion of this candle you can simply see the moving averages have intersected at one simple point above the candles so once you see this happening that they have intersected at one simple point above the candles and the best confirmation that you can watch out is the cci touching the lower limit at this very point and you can opt for a sell trade a lower trade a put option simply so once you are pretty confirmed with all the confirmations that you want to have in a point to trade if you find all of them you can simply trade on that particular point always remember that do not try to use one strategy all the times now you see the same thing happening here now what did i mean with the intersection above or below the candles it might be intersecting on a pin of the candle but it should not be intersecting on the body of the candle if the moving averages intersect each other on the body of the candle then you can assume it to be intersecting among the candles or on the candles so this is a intersection of the moving averages above the candle clearly okay so once you see this happening again you can have a second confirmation which is not present here cci is not touching the upper or the lower limit it is somewhere in the middle so it is a weak signal of course it is a weak signal but you can simply trade on it of course now you see the moving averages intersecting here at this point very easily intersecting below the candles clearly you can opt for a buy trade and the cci is very near to the upper limit 
so that is how you can keep on making it for you and in case of any sort of issues queries questions concerns you can always reach me out on my contact details mentioned in the video other than that i am always available for coaching collaboration getting your systems managed or any sort of assistance that you require that's all for now grip trade is a family stay connected stay in touch stay happy see you very soon take care bye bye sami here from grip trade i hope you like the video in case if you have any sort of queries or you require any assistance or you have any concerns you are all welcome to reach me out on my contact details mentioned even in the video as well as at the end of the video